Well, here I am at English Buffet. I've just purchased a new bicycle, and uh, on the way home, I passed by a Zori shop, so I decided to buy myself new Zori. You can see them here. These are, the, these are my old ones, and these are the new ones. So, <clears throat> I think they're better looking. The problem with the old ones was the they're starting to break, the, uh, and also on the bottom, you can see they're all worn. So they were slipping. Every time I rained, I, it would rain, I would almost fall over. So the new ones have some treading. This new surface is basically like uh, just rubber. The, the old one is some kind of material that's layered together with straw on the top. And they're quite stiff, actually. Surprisingly stiff. And the new one is just rubber with straw on the top. And as you can see, it's much more flexible. So. The other thing that's interesting is you can see they're much shorter, although the width is not that much different. So that's actually a good thing because as you can see, here's the old one on my foot. It's actually too long, if you can believe it or not. Here's the new one. This is the way that the Zori is supposed to fit according to Japanese style. When I bought this one, uh, I couldn't get one that was large enough, or uh, small enough. So in order to get my foot in, the width-wise, I had to get one where the length went off the back of my heel. But actually, the heel should go off the back of the Zori. This is much cooler looking. When I first heard this, um, I thought, oh, that is not cool looking. That looks too small. But actually, after having been in Japan for a while, I realized this is much cooler looking, and this looks uh, sloppy when you have the back back of the Zori coming off your heel. So that's it. Those are my new Zori.